What's up guys, it's The Real Deal, welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're going to be looking at the Holy Land contract and I'm going to give you all my tricks and tips to try and get as many points as you can. Um, this is just for the first rotation, so obviously the first thing you'll do, if you've got um, any of those heroes, definitely bring them in. I wish I had a uh, Do Rally, but I don't, I am trying to pick up a copy of her, I'm just like six limited recruitment cards short but hopefully having that extra copy it will massively bump up our points um, so for the contract what you can do is just have the first two unticked because that increases the boss damage and that will affect every single one of these which will mean that you'll probably wipe a lot faster so you can have all of these and we'll take out my healer bring in a summoner and you can go full damage so this is the team that I will probably run for every single um after after this rotation. I'll probably take out, you know, the healer and run this team instead. But we're gonna go in full ham. And we're gonna bring in our support. So uh, so the team we're running with is we got Berg, we got uh Daji, Anpu, Jax, and then Alu uh, for the commander. We're running Kung Fu Panda, and you see the middle row is going to get boosted damage. So, best damage dealers in the middle. Dominant Nucleus. Uh, well, we're, what's it, five, six, maybe six awakening now, but we're getting these three gem slots. Putting in crit rate, putting in crit damage. It just, across the board, everyone is going to be doing more damage. Ruler's Ring helps us keep our um, summoners alive. But also, tanks, summoners, and supports are taking 16% less damage. That is crazy good survivability. And then the revitalization crystal, we are getting 24% damage reduction for all allied heroes. So we're taking a lot less damage than we should, and it just makes it a little bit easier to do this boss. And whoa, some major lag going on there. Here we go, boys. So hopefully, um, you know, everyone should stay alive. Um, one of the things is with this fight, I did see some of our heroes start to drop off towards the end. Um, if we just had a little bit more HP on some of the heroes, so, you know, just tempering out their gear on the boots, on the helmet, that will make a big difference. And then also, Allure, she still needs some work. You know, she's not immortal just yet. Uh, or extraordinary she's been dropped early that's not a good sign that is not a good sign um obviously she plays a massive role in this she's going to keep everyone alive she's doing all that healing and it looks like this is going to be a bad run uh so just one thing to point out at the top you sort of see your score but the more important thing is if you look underneath you get your points obtained and here you can actually see what your true score is going to be so this was a massive fail. So we got 59k, also 59 million. Same team comp, we got 71 million. So that's a big difference. So if Alu Alu hadn't have died so easily, I'm gonna do another run because I feel like we got cheated there a little bit. But Alu, if she didn't die, that would have been a way better run. So again, if she just had more HP, a little bit more damage reduction she would survive and not die and if she doesn't die she can heal the squad keep everyone up uh but yeah let's check out the damage see what's going on so daji is beating anpu it's rare to see this uh, because it's single target though daji should outperform anpu when there's more targets anpu uh you know rolls reverse and anpu will outperform uh daji uh, Jax is just the next best damage dealer on the account, uh, especially for my summoners as well. So bringing him in and it doesn't matter that Berg is bringing in no damage. The bonus that he brings from just being one of those heroes, <laughs> it just gives you those big points that we all want. So this, you can see this is a way better run already, already at 62 mil and Alu is still going. I'm hoping she's not going to drop. 
don't don't die on us dude uh you know we want to get like a nice tasty score Jax is gone though which is a little bit of a problem but yeah this is really kind down to come on a lure keep bergman going keep him going and oh he's down that's not good so yeah we're sort of now just relying on our summoners to sort of finish off the job and do as much damage as they can just squeeze out at the very end but yeah all i would need to do is just you know make people a little bit more tanky and we would be able to survive and just you know at the moment we're number three would love to get that number one spot uh, and everyone's dropping like flies now and yeah it looks like we're just gonna hit we'll probably hit the same scores before but um you never know oh we're getting there come on daji um and daji obviously sp hero not everyone's gonna have her but even if you have one copy of her she will get work for you done she's also bringing that hero bonus as well uh, i guess the other thing i would say is if you don't have her she's completely replaceable by any summoner that can do damage for this team comp um I'm trying to think what is the name oh let's just let's just have a quick look who am i thinking of and matt and matt would fill this role perfectly and matt hits like a truck another solid option so let's check out the team comp so we've got anpu uh this is a crazy good build he is like m maxed out um everything's tempered uh gloves are like yeah you need to go for also i'm losing tr oh my god what am i doing wake up real deal um so we've got um here is edge for extra attack and then we've got surge um just again for extra attack increased aoe damage um it is so good for um anpu it's just absolute god tier build we've got a uh, crit rate on the gloves um when you sort of get if you can get like a hundred percent crit rate swap these out for crit damage his damage will just go on another level and we've got accuracy on the helm uh and then we've got attack on the boots with a nice triple roll in attack uh 1.2 million hp that is very tanky for a damage healer and then we've got 48k attack 111 accuracy 55 crit rate and 16 crit damage everything else is maxed out potential i would say go down to level eight is definitely worth it bonus damage to robots bonus damage to um dentity and then also insects as well so any insect bosses we're going to be doing some extra damage and ampu's the first hero when you get him sink everything into him he will carry you through more content than any other hero in the game uh Jax, i mean i love jacks to pieces but he's some weird looking fish boy i don't know who was like well give him a fish bazooka it's just he is freaky looking but he's a boss um so for the build we've got him in a mat uh, sorry extraction so we get extra hp and we're also getting healing as well and then hawkeye for that accuracy hp on the gloves uh, hp on the helm and then damage reduction on the boots 1.2 million on the hp 71 accuracy and then 62 percent damage reduction uh, again all maxed out and he doesn't have an awakening just yet but i feel like he will get one and then daji um mythic plus two no sorry, mythic plus one uh, so we've got her in madness and sun signet um got crit rate on the gloves attack percentage on the helm and then attack percentage on the boots a bit squishy at 482k hp 28k attack 69 crit rate and then 12 percent crit damage exclusive only plus 20 for now um and then we're only at level four for talents then we want to go to our tank who is i was gonna go orthan i just use orthan all the time it's berg and to be honest berg is brand new and he's really impressed me i really like berg can't wait to get him to immortal love this animation as well this is a sick animation 
Um, so we've got him in opportunistic. Obviously, with tanks, it's usually the build you want to go down if they have a knockdown. HP on the gloves, HP on the helm, and then damage reduction on the boots. 948k HP, which is weird, considering he's a tank less HP than Anpu. Um, but yeah, he's obviously gear's not tampered yet. Uh, damage reduction at 83%. That is massive. Uh, definitely helping with that survivability. Do you want to put some accuracy on him though as well, just for that uh, for the knockdown? Exclusive. Oh, less wacky up boys. So it was only plus ten, and talents we are. Oh, we've got some extra talents as well. Okay, I will do a run after this because uh, might be able to squeeze out some more points. And then last but not least, Alu. And she's crazy good. She's really, really impressed me. So Rebirth set, you definitely want to try and pick this up. Rebirth set is so much better than... Um, what is it called? Not that one. Um, let's do a replace. What is the gear set? Abundant. It is way better than Abundant. And the reason for that is abundant, you cannot temper with it. Um, and tempering is one of the best ways to get stats in this game. So yeah, definitely want to work on getting that rebirth gear. So HP on the gloves, HP on the helm, and damage reduction on the boots. We do have like some extra HP in there, but she still was a bit too squishy. And obviously, we did get dropped early on. So one mil HP, 16 accuracy, very low, kind of pointless. And then 53 damage reduction. Oh, oh, just not quite there to get some more um, into exclusive. And talents are only down to five as well. So considering how low she is, this goat girl is doing some crazy work for us. So she is another hero who is like top tier, in my opinion, definitely worth investing in. Also brings summons as well, which can be really good for, um, for the abyss. Um, so if you want to farm up some rubies, Crimson Abyss, she's really good for that. So that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.